This is the story of the nicest sixth grade teacher, Miss Ninger. She was the most loving teacher I have ever had. The memory she left in my life formed me a clear image of what an ideal teacher should be like. On the first day of middle school, I could not open my locker. The buses were about to leave. I did not know what to do. I wanted to cry. I went back to the classroom to see if there was any teacher that could help me. I looked everywhere to see if there was someone who could help me. I found one. Miss Ninninger! In extreme exhaustion, I exclaimed, Miss Ninninger, can you help me open my locker? Of course, she said, with a kind and gentle voice. I was soothed by her sweet words. She went up to my locker and showed me how to open it. As tears kept streaming along my face, she told me, Don't worry, not worry. Soon, in the future, you will be able to open your locker just like anyone else. And she taught me how to open my locker. She was always available to help any student, especially when we needed it the most. There were sometimes students who did not behave well. But she had a certain charisma that I never saw in a teacher before. When a student misbehaved, she was firm, kind, and serious. Grace flowed out of her as she gave her tender, concerned look. Her classroom worksheets and assignments may have seemed plain, but the love she gave into teaching brought everything to life. Every day I was anticipating to be in her class so I could exclaim, Good afternoon, Miss Ninger! With a deep and welcoming smile, as if it were sweet music, she would respond, Good afternoon, Fatima! She always received all students with joy and new ones with a friendly smile. Her presence will illuminate the classroom and overcome regardless of how plain and boring anything in her class would be. The first thing we would do in her class would be a warm-up. Her gentle, reassuring smile always communicated the love to want to be in her class. Afterwards, she would make us do work in her class. In various occasions, she changed the usual routine to make something different. Ranging from projects, simple worksheets, cahoots, and going outside. Her class seemed fun. She was always firm against lazy students and reward rewarding to good students. One occasion, I struggled on the work she assigned for us to complete. I think she stayed after school, but she also came before school to help students on assignments. I was happy until I tried to go to her classroom and I heard her talking to someone. She was giving advice to a cheerleader. I was discouraged. I was outside doubting whether I should enter into her class. But then she noticed that someone was outside and she asked me, why did you not go inside? I told her it was because I was shy and she kindly smiled. I do not mind. You could have come inside. Her words were like a warm blanket against a little cold and frozen person like me. On Valentine's Day, I had a small gift I wanted to give to my teacher. I went into her classroom to see her desk, that her desk was filled with chocolate hearts from so many other students. I became sad. Would she accept such a tiny and small gift for me? But indeed she did. She received my gift with such love and inexpressible goodness that filled my heart with joy to know that my teacher would receive such a small gift. When the school year was finished, I wanted to say a final goodbye to her. A student, out of pride, said, Who is your favorite student, Miss Ninja? Am I your favorite student? I became nervous. I had a close connection to the teacher, and I felt like that answer would make me sad. 
but out of the bottom of her heart, with great love, she exclaimed, All of you are my favorite students. I was so happy. I felt included. I felt loved. Ms. Nanger had such a big impact in my life. She renewed my desire to become a teacher like her. Ever since then, I knew I've always wanted to become a K-6 teacher. I wanted to have a classroom full of students so that I could help them become such good and great people for our society and the future. She is what planted the seed of kindness in my heart. She was one of the reasons behind my drive to what I wanted to become.